satellite pictures of the planet Saturn have shown a huge hexagram or hexagon which looks exactly as the plastic under my cake and it has to be considered that the guy who owns the plastic factory rather belongs to the financial elite than to the working class who belongs to the financial pharaohs with all their secret lodges secret symbology and the true masters of our planet there's a whole secret world of the enemy within amongst and around us of which we hardly have any knowledge uh, due to their hiding st strategy and laws of silence camouflaged by lies and eternal false promises these secret symbols show among themselves that they're part of the per a big house clan and that the item should be bought at their factory almost as vulgar as a dog lifting its hind leg to mark its territory Saturn again, I think there's another spot. So this is the uh, like the satellite picture of Saturn really. There it is. Well, I hope the cake doesn't do this in my stomach. So that's Saturn again. And if they already hide their secret markings under the cake, what do you think what nanotechnology fertility killing materials are hiding within the cake? Today I read in the newspaper how outdoor jackets contain immunity killing, uh, thyroid gland destroying and fertility attacking chemicals as po polyfluorized PFC chemicals or even worse, the perfluor octan acids. So you're sweating inside this lab tight structure, the pores and doors of your system are wide open, and it gets all sucked inside your genetic system. And um, it kills the uh, our human fertility. The bees are dying, and. Uh, we won't be able to make any more children soon. With all these hidden dangers in our cakes and clothes, we'll soon have to fill in a triple form to apply for an artificial insemination, where of course only the pharaoh's DNA will be injected to fulfill our mammal instincts of getting pregnant and have children. For everyone. Well, for spreading their di uh, genetics, this works even better than the um, the first right or the uh, prime noctus, the um, le droit du seigneur. So, just back to my cake. Uh, so here's the square, which is the um, which is us, the uh, the pyramid, and here we can see the square here as well around it and that's we underneath and on top it's them ordering us the top of the hierarchy so it's amazing how stupid they think we are I mean in this symbol here under the cake they uh, give away the um, uh, the symbol of power, the structure of power. Here it is, under a cake. This is the structure of power. This is exactly how it works. And I just wanted to give you some more numbers. The hexagon symbolizes the square and compass. The number six. You get the picture? The octagon symbolizes Switzerland and the Templars. The number eight. And we are the base of the pyramid, the number four giving altogether 684 from inside to the outside and when minus 18 which is 6 plus 6 plus 6 then the number 666 will appear the wartime number when we the four 
will be given the number 2 from 8, so the octagon, the military, police, Nazi, Templar forces, one point, all weapon in each hand, and the right to kill will be given. So 666 is the right to kill, whereas 684, only octagon has this right. So 6 gives the orders to 8, and 8 gives the orders to 4. So the hexagram or hexagon is 6 is the square and compass. Planet Saturn. Planet Saturn. They laugh at us, the enemy within. Because they can get humanity, get used to everything. As all organization is useless. Because it will get infiltrated and betrayed in the end. Because they are hiding. Humanity can only resist by the sacrifice of the independent warrior. Keeping his intentions to himself and who sacrifices his middle-aged life for the beloved and younger offspring. Some mothers make warriors out of your sons so the pharaohs can't get them and make soldiers out of them. Only the independent sacrifice of the individual will provide mankind's delivery of the uh, reign of the enemy within. All organization otherwise will shatter. We still outnumber them but not for long anymore. If we don't act now and honor the lone warrior principle well, honestly, I think mankind is too stupid, too cowardice and too selfish to understand this.